Isn't baseball a great game when it takes two hours and 12 minutes to play? Yes, it is. Um, I never complain about being on the field too long, but uh, I'll complain if we get out of there too fast if we're not on the top side of the scoreboard after that 27th out's recorded. But good crisp baseball game for us today until the ninth inning. But uh, you know, we're just like anybody else. We're not going to be mistake-free. But um, you know, pitching was fantastic today. Got a good start from Tony. Uh, bullpen guys were all really good, even nowhere. Threw the ball well for us in the ninth. Rolled a double play that should have ended the game. So we're, we're, we're pleased with his performance again today. And Highland came in and really did a good job settling things down. Um, got some good timely hitting from a few guys today. Um, I guess one of the biggest at-bats that kind of gets lost in today's game is just the two-out base at the right field by Chris Robinson extending the inning, giving Luis an opportunity to hit that two-run home run. Um, Luis isn't um, the type of guy you prefer leading off innings for you. Uh, so it's important that you try to get him to the plate right there and hell of a job using the whole field, getting the base hit, bring Luis up there. You got a pitch in the middle of the plate that he could drive. And, um, you know, Maz is um, quietly having a real, real solid season for us this year throughout all the turmoil. He comes to the park to play hard every day. And, um, you know, he's our biggest power threat in our lineup right now. I don't know how many home runs he has now, 11 or 12. And, um, you know, he's on pace to uh, finish the season with a pretty big number. Hopefully he can stay healthy and continue to swing the bat uh, the way he is right now. Isn't the game so simple? Throw strikes, get guys out, and then get hits with men on base. Basically, at the end of the day, when you look back at it, that's kind of how this thing works. I mean, you can overthink a lot of things and start critiquing uh, swing mechanics or pitch mechanics or fielding mechanics, but at the end of the day, you, you have to have uh, the intestinal fortitude to be willing to compete in that strike zone and trust the people behind you to play defense, and you have to have some guys that are, want to stand up in that box and be the guy. Tony Smith, pretty outstanding today. Yeah, you know what? He scuffled a little bit in Fargo with a strike throw and just really didn't have really good body control down there, but uh, to be perfectly honest with you, we penalized Tony by not turning two double plays in the first and third inning in Fargo and kind of put us in a 4 nothing hole. But he threw the ball well. We just penalized him. Uh, his command wasn't real great that day. And looks like he's made some adjustments. Body command was much better today. So he controlled the ball a little bit better. And if you got command of your body, you got command of the ball, ultimately you'll control the game. Starting pitching is fun when it works, isn't it? It sure is. It's, uh, it's something that everybody's look, looking for. And, when you evaluate it, you have to evaluate it closely because sometimes you think the easiest move is to make a change and bring somebody else in, but there's not really a guarantee that what you're bringing in is going to help you. So we just kind of looked at the, the arm quality that we had on our staff and really sat back and felt like maybe if we can get these guys to buy into a few adjustments in their approach and their mechanics that you know we can get some positive results out of them. That's kind of what's happening right now. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks.